-hmm. but we also have the son, which is why we can admit both by choice. And if you look at the word Jesus Christ, this whole concept that I'm talking about is the personification. Uh How do you talk about that? In the language of the symbolism, the art of symbolism shows that it comes from, J is like, it just comes into being. It just comes into being. Mm -hmm. So that is the energy projecting, right? Yeah. And then S is the transference of that energy. And then U is pulling it into us. And then S again continues to transfer it. So Jesus is taking in the energy and continuing it onward. It's not the name of an individual. It's the name of the concept of the symbol. It's so fragile. You to describe it. And then, it's just a scribe itself is nothing more than what you just put a recording down. So we're recording that what we can do and how we can do it based off the language we create and use. Right. That's why all of it's connected. So Jesus is bringing that and carrying it forward essentially into something else. Right. So Christ, when he becomes Christ in this manner, Christ is concentrating it to the extent that you continue it. The R continues. H is the extent. Because like you you see how an H just opens up and then reaches the side. It's showing you this much. But you can like extend that much. So CHR is putting that concentration into something. So like it's the direction of the R is a field, right? It's half a field and the line. So the energy of a line plus the field and what comes from the outside of the field projecting out. Mm -hmm. That's why we need a little leg on the art because it needs to show. Same thing with retrograde. Mm -hmm. We use it because it shows how that retrograde, the R coming out, is intersecting. Right. Which is what an X is. I get how it's the field, like let's say the field itself reverses polarity. It's an intersection of how you pull, for example, your magnetized pool, but how... Other things can pull away from you. And then go push them. Like a magnetism. Yeah. Like a magnet itself, like neodymium. So we want to choose to put it into something as CHR. I is coming into being. S is transferring it to a point. So we are coming into being. We are the being of the I, right? And then we also have to transfer that into a point. So we're taking the extent of concentrative energy of ourselves <laughs> into being. So it's taking the universe and putting it into being is Jesus Christ. Uh, I really enjoyed how you just broke that down in the, the letters. Because it makes... But that's a symbolism that, all the language. You pull yeah. out these same symbolism. But, yeah. And it could be explained in better ways. Yeah. Just this is something that is worthy of showing you that even the concepts of everything that's so complex is complex because you understand the concepts of the language. The language is a symbol. They don't teach you the symbol. They teach you how to use it. Do symbols within symbols. Well, the symbols itself is just a connotation to what we attach something to. Mm-hmm. Our attachment of the concept, the attachment to the form that we want to project. To, but not in a projection like we control the projecting projection of how we actually perceive it. Yeah. So if I explain the letters to you, A is the extent of opening up and extension and bridges essential growth but it's the extent that you bring into form. So like the vowels are special, but B B is actually two things I should add is once you get into B, you go to, it's in the division. Now, if you look at the way a B is, the same extent of a B is how you say a B. Your lips go in just like the center of the B. We're looking at your mouth talk, but talk in like a forward sense from the side. So a profile, you would see B shape. In the vibration, it's being spoken. Right. So what the letters are, okay. are the vibrations themselves, to yeah. the noises we're saying. This is how we're intersecting and utilizing the vibration. So B is the division of it. So the division is also B as in baby. B is the division going to the extent of A we just covered, back to B, dividing again, and then Y is coming to a point. So Y is like three things coming together. Yeah. It is, it's a, it's, it's a sense of concentrating, but in central point. So it's also the way when you say why you're putting it outwards and then it just projects like a Bartini black. Right. So that would be a good understanding of that. So. I wonder what exactly these shapes of all these things too, like. They're 3D like yeah, waveforms like right. this. Uh, we were talking about the B. I even thought we didn't have, we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the B's. Because they can vibrate at the right. field emitting. Right. They can store themselves the interference of using both guided wings 
plus the bee itself buzzing could either also pull and attract nectar. It can also emit it and put it into form. Bees are so heavy. They're, it's their structure of their construct. Okay. It's the way that they come together and life itself is just the embodiment mm -hmm. of soul. And if we're all soul, we have an oversoul and the oversoul can also be essentially emitted as a field existing that we can become into being from. So like that soul itself, like I said, was SOL from the sun. Soul with a U mm -hmm. is taking that same thing. It's coming through, it's emitting, but we're pulling it in to the parameter. So Saul and soul are into connecting. Mm -hmm. So we are living because we're operating through the field of essential genetics operating on itself because we're lineage is what came into being through like the roots of a vine mm -hmm. that through the living structures of being able to reproduce which is essentially take the version of itself and give a new version so we can it's like a three almost it's we can be we can embody more of ourselves that's also relative to how much can exist in the world but at the same time too you can achieve certain aspects of embodying yourself based off the same aspects that people and individuals are utilizing to clear way out of the field, whatever it means. Now, the thing is, if you notice that, if you look at the field's end of the field, how you emit it out is through Saturnianism. That's what Satan is. It's taking the transferings to the extent, which is A, which is T to a coin, and that U is bring it to an extension and, and is forward. Think of it in like a wavelength, you know, and then R, like I said earlier, is just projecting an R it's from the field going out. So it's like, think of it like that's where the radio frequency of the sun emits. Yeah. Now outside our field that we can see, which is based off the sun, our other interconnectedness like Uranus and all those, okay. those existing too. But we don't get to see those unless we have a telescope, a lens, mm -hmm. which can show further of that field that we are a part of. So Saturn and the moon are why we exist just as much as the sun. Mm -hmm. The why is Saturn depicted as like a bad thing sometimes, like a Saturn return? Think of this, the moon going in and out of phases based on how much it's actually in the field between Saturn and the sun. And now think of light itself going in and out of the field of light and Saturn. Mm -hmm. Now think of black and white. White and black. So the sun. The forces, the polar. Further away from there. It's an interchangement. But the concepts and the languages are all the same. If you look at them. In reality, people want balance. 